lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Roger Allen. The topic for today is a new covenant has better promises. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, today I'm grateful for the promises that you have given to us. As I share this lesson with your people, I ask that your Holy Spirit will lead me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We may be tempted to think that the new covenant has a better promises. In the sense that has a greater rewards than the old covenant. A heavenly homeland, eternal life, etc. The truth is that God offered the same rewards to Old Testament and New Testament believers. As we look in Hebrews chapter 6 and read along Hebrews chapter 8 verse 6, it states, But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which has established upon better promises. So the better promises refer to different kind of promises. The covenant between God and Israel was a normal exchange of promises between God, that God took the initiative and delivered Israel from Egypt and promised to lead them into the promised land. In Exodus 24, 1 and 8, and Hebrews 10, 5 to 10, we can find that the covenant between God and Israel was ratified by blood. This blood was sprinkled both over and beneath the altar. The people of Israel promised to obey all that the Lord had spoken. The condition of eternal life is now just what it has always been. Just what it, has, it was in the paradise before the fall of our first parents. Perfect obedience to the law of God. Perfect righteousness. If eternal life were granted on any other condition short of this, then the happiness of the whole universe would be in peril. The way would be open for sin with its train and woe and misery to be immoralized. Based off Sister White's Step to Christ, page 62. God satisfies the absolute demands of the new covenant for us because he gave his son to come and live a perfect life so that the promises of the covenant might be fulfilled in him and then offered to us by faith in Jesus. Jesus' obedience guarantees the covenant promise based off Hebrews 7 verse 24. It, requires, it first requires that God give him the blessings of the covenant which are then given to us Indeed, those who are in Christ will enjoy those promises with him. Second, God gives us his Holy Spirit to empower us to fulfill his law. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your promises. We thank you for the old promises and we thank you for the new promises. Help us, dear God, to accept your sacrifice to accept that you are our high priest interceding on our behalf. Help us as a people to be obedient to your laws, to worship you in spirit and in truth. And we ask also that you forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining today in this episode of Alpha. But I ask you to join tomorrow for another interesting lesson. May God bless you. Until such time, God bless. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.